Hello and welcome to another video. Today is going to be a little bit of a different one. If you didn't know, Minecon Live happened yesterday and they announced some very interesting stuff. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to watch the live stream, so I'm going to be giving my live reaction right here to this video right here, Minecraft Live 2021 update highlights directly from Mojang. Now, I should say I have seen some of the features uh, from Twitter and such, but I've tried to keep it minimum, so I have not seen this video at all. All I've seen is pretty much pictures from Twitter and that has been limited, so you will get to see my live reaction to this. Also, before we continue, if you could do me a favor and leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, that will help me out a ton. And also, if you're new, consider subscribing. And also, if you want to see more reaction videos like this, do let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, let's jump right into it, shall we? So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to watch this first and then give my reaction and then afterwards we can potentially go back and then like pause and do that stuff. Caves and Cliffs Part 2, coming later this year. Perfect. Ooh, that's exciting. Minecraft joins Xbox Game Pass for PC. That's cool. Coming in November. All right. New tools to create your own mobs? Oh. Oh, that's exciting. But is that only for Bedrock? Minecraft Dungeons Seasonal Adventures. I don't really play Minecraft Dungeons, but for those who do, this is exciting, I think. I think this could be cool. The Wild Update coming 2022. Ooh, is the swamps gonna have a... Ooh, mangroves. Mangrove? Mangrove swamp? Frogs? <laughs> Oh, they look cute. <laughs> okay, I don't know about cute, but they look cool, like the thing that goes out. Okay, mud blocks. Nice. New structure, potentially. Or build. The deep dark. Oh, that's something I want to talk about as well. Oh, that looks sick. Ooh. New skull blocks. Oh. New blocks. Oh, that looks cool. Boat with chests! They added both with chests! They finally added them! Nice! <laughs> I've been wanting that for a while. Nice! Alright, let's. Uh, that, that's a lot to take in. Hold on, Let, let's go back a little bit. Okay, so Caves and Cliffs Part 2 is basically coming later this year. So that's gonna be 1.18, fully released later this year. It's gonna be cool. New tools to create your own mobs. What is this? Block bench? Is that more something Mojang has made? Never heard of that program before. I mean, that's cool. But again, is this only going to be for Bitrock or is it also going to be for Java? That I don't know. But, I mean, the program, that could be cool. And then we have the wild update. Okay, what do we see here? So this is basically like the a new biome, it seems. A new biome to be added. Mangrove Swamp. Mangrove? I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Mangrove Swamp. So this is basically a new swamp biome, I assume. That's not going to replace the, the current one. Okay. And then we have frogs. <laughs> I love the animation. They jump as well. That's cool. I think I saw somewhere that they were also going to be adding... Um, I don't remember what, the, what they're called. We'll get back to it. Mud blocks, so we can make mud now. And is this a build we will be able to find? Or is this just a show that we can make... Mud bricks? Oh, mud bricks. Well, that's gonna be cool. And then the deep dark. It looks like to be maybe a huge sort of dungeon or something. I mean, it looks like a huge like castle or something. So basically, it's basically I saw this as well. The deep dark has been postponed to the wild update, so it will not be included in the 1.18 update, but in 1.19, just to make it easier for the developers and stuff like that, which I fully understand and support. But that's cool. Looks like... Wait, hold on. So we have some skulk blocks as well. This one is different. This is different, and we haven't seen these before either. Looks like some loot, potentially. And some spawnable stuff. Yeah, this definitely looks like a fortress of some kind. What is, what is happening here? A sound that generates a skulk sensor or something? And then, of course, boat with chests. We're gonna be able to have boats with chests. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I'm excited. This is some very cool and exciting news. Also, they didn't announce it in the video, but the winning mob of the mob vote out of the three is the LA. Uh, 
I didn't even get to vote. The vote lasted, what, 10 minutes or something? <laughs> I was busy at the time, but the LA apparently won the vote. Okay, so here, so they basically had two votes. Um, so here we have the first one. The Galera got 11%. The LA 51 and the Copper Golem 37.8 and there was 1.2 million votes in total. Wow. And then the second vote right here, the LA won with 54.3% and the Copper Golem with 45.7% with 1.1 million votes. That's a lot of votes. GG. That was a close one. I can't understand why people voted for the LA. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the wild update celebration with fireworks. I like it. I like it. Okay, now this one is interesting. So this is another look at the deep dark stuff. I see a chest which means loot. Oh yeah, this is there. This gotta be some sort of dungeon fortress or something. Oh, oh, hold up. Oh, we got here. We have sounds. Oh. 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 Okay, and then it just, then it just casually spawns. That's horrifying. Oh, you can use sounds to lure him away from you. Oh, that, wow, he does a lot of damage. I recently just played a horror map, which will be released soon, by the way. Um, that's horrifying. This is a very cool picture. I might just have a new wallpaper for my PC. Okay, this is interesting. We're going back to our roots. Sadly, that doesn't mean we're reverting to Minecraft 1.0.0.0. .0 but we're introducing the rootiest of trees, mangrove. So this is a new type. Wait, is this a new type of tree with a new type of wood? If this is a new kind of wood with like a different color and texture, that's gonna... Ooh, that's cool. That's really cool. Here it is, we are also adding tadpoles. So tiny, so cute, so in tune with their surroundings. That's cool. That's so cute. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that thing. <laughs> All right, that was pretty much the video. Now I'm going to quickly read through the, the recap here to see if there's anything that I've potentially missed. It says here, we also learned that the Deep Dark and Warden will be included in the Wild update, which is totally understandable. The developers are quite busy with this. <laughs> They also say here, but it's also really big and we want to make it as big, dark, deep and absolutely terrifying as possible. Minecraft is turning into a horror game right here. This is... Ugh. They also say here that splitting the, the Caves and Cliffs update into two parts may not have been part of the original plan, but it did have a very positive side effect. Since we received a lot of comments, feedback and of course fan art after part one, we were able to incorporate that into the work on part two. So that's really cool. Uh, we got some screenshots here, actually, of the, of the 1.18 version of all the cool stuff. That's awesome. All right, so here we go. Minecraft innovations. All of us at Mojang Studios are constantly impressed by the creativity that comes from the Minecraft community. In fact, we were so inspired that our innovation team has been working on tools that will help foster this talent and also open up the playing field even more by making them accessible for everyone. The Minecraft Learning Portal aims to teach and inspire new and existing creators to make their own maps by putting walkthroughs, information banks and tutorials in one place. And that is basically the Learning Portal. Um, but I think it might only be for Bedrock. I, I'm quite confused. <laughs> okay, so Blockbench is basically a separate program. I don't think made by Mojang at all. Um, that is used for making like 3D models such as this and what we just saw with like the with the bear here. So that's my bad for not knowing about Blockbench before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now in the Minecraft wiki and I'm just looking at the uh, the wild update here, basically 1.19 upcoming version, uh, and it, did, it seems to indeed be a new type of wood mangrove planks. So that's really cool. We also got the roots and other stuff, mud bricks, and they have even included the skulk catalyst blooms when activated, so some sort of maybe skulk flower or something? Ah, here we go. Frame block composes, well, unofficial name, composes a large open frame at the center of every deep dark city. If that is what they're going to be called, I called it a fortress or castle, but uh, I guess city works too. We're getting fireflies? Glows in the dark, are eaten by frogs, are currently only two pixels big, making them the smallest mob in the game. 
that's cool. Will we be able to capture those and put them in jars and use them for lighting? That would be cool. So the tadpole obviously grows grows into frog grow into grows up into frogs. <laughs> Can also be held in buckets. Okay, so it looks like the swamp will be completely overhauled. So it won't just be the old boring swamp that we're used to. It is going to get an overhaul apparently. And then of course we're gonna get the deep dark as a cave biome. Deep Dark City? It doesn't say unofficial name, so that is probably its right name. New structure that generates within the Deep Dark. Includes all the Deep Dark features within it. Made of deep slate and basalt blocks. Contains soul sand, soul fire, soul lattice. Contains candles and skeleton skulls. Contains chests with unique loot. Contains the unknown frame block. Has different levels and open spaces. That's cool. A new effect, darkness. A status effect triggered by the Skulk Striker block, causing the player's camera to dim in brightness, thus limiting vision. Originally acted as a warning that the warden is nearby in earlier development, however, this has likely changed. Nice. Clay is renewable. Does this mean we can potentially redstone farm this? Clay is renewable other than by stonemasons giving it to you after getting Hero of the Village by placing mud over a dripstone block with a stalactite dripstone growing under. The dripstone will dry it out, producing a clay block. That's interesting. That's quite good actually, because if you're playing especially on a multiplayer server or something, yeah, you can run out of clay. <laughs> Plant additions, biomes, updating various old world biomes such as the burst forest to make them more biodiverse, unique and add more immersion to biomes in general. So this, is, this seems to be a plant addition, so we could potentially see other biomes get a small overhaul as well to make them more well like it says biodiverse and unique that's exciting these are some unconfirmed features so basically i guess myths or theories or hopes uh world generation fallen trees that would be cool i would like to see that and then gameplay archaeology oh yeah where did i see that Archaeology originally announced for the Case of Cliffs update development of this gameplay feature was delayed for a future version. Archaeology will involve players being able to use new tool known as the brush to sweep away dirt and gravel in order to discover artifacts. Among these artifacts are ceramic shards which can be incorporated into clay pots to make painted clay pots. This feature is not coming in 1.18 although archaeology is coming to the game soon. So that is potentially also something we might see in 1.19. And that's pretty much it. That's really cool. So that's basically it for the recap of 1.19. Let me know down below in the comments if I missed anything. Um, I am very excited for 1.19 and 1.18 of course, but also for 1.19. <laughs> but yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Again, let me know if I missed anything down below in the comments. And also let me know if you're excited for 1.18 and what feature you are most excited for. I'm very excited for the boats uh, with chests. <laughs> I've been wanting that for a while. But I have been the, I've been wanting a overhaul of the swamp biome and other biomes as well, like the birch forest, for a while now. So I'm very excited to see if that's going to happen. Uh, but yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing and be sure to enable those notifications to not miss out when I upload. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.